two pulses travel towards each other as shown in the diagram. When they meet, what will be the resultant displacement? Well, this one's really easy, guys. You see how this one is um, A upwards, so let's call that one A, and this one is three A downwards. So let me give you another example. Let's say that this was five and this was 20. What would the overall effect be? Well, we know that this one and this one, when they combine, um, there's going to be de destructive interference because the one is above and the one is below. So they're going to almost break each other down a little bit. So all that you would do is your resultant one would probably look something like this. And to work out the displacement, you would just take this number minus that number. So it would have been 15, okay? If they were both on the same side, well, then your then the result would be a big one and you would add the numbers together and that would be 25. So when they're on the same the same side, add. When they're on opposite sides, subtract. So you gotta now go back to mathematics. What is 3a take away a? Well, that's gonna give you 2a. And so, but now we gotta be careful. Um, we know that it's not gonna be d and we know that it's not gonna be a. Um, because it's not four, the answer is two A. But now, is it positive or negative? Well, you see how it's under the um, under this thing over here, so that's going to be negative. So it's going to be this one. And oh, another reason that it won't be this one is because they call that one constructive. So we're just going to take it as um, the one that also has destructive.